let's talk about the user interface. The user interface is where you are going to work in DDS CAD. On the left, you find the Explorer tab. The Explorer tab shows the open models for this project and also the active model is displayed in bold. So, you know that the active model is from the architecture discipline, the ground floor level one, the 2D plan. I can just switch for uh, the other open model by double click like the 2D plan. Depending on the discipline that you have active, it will display a toolbox. For the electrical discipline, you find the electrical toolbox. If we come to ventilation, you will see the duct network toolbox and for sanitary heating, the pipe network. For architecture, you find the architecture toolbox. This working model and this toolbox is also available for specific disciplines. If I would come, for instance, for the ventilation, I can switch the working model here. The toolbox can be docked. You just drag and drop and you could insert in the ribbon or on the right or on the left of the screen. You can also make use of how to hide so that you can have a wider screen. If by any chance you made a mistake and you close any of these tabs, you can just turn it on again. To do so, you come to window, uh, menu window, toolbars, and you'll find the list of all tabs here. If I click Explorer, it comes back again. If you made a mess on your uh, user interface and you would like to restore, you again come to the menu window, toolbars, and you click on the restore default docking bar and toolbar layout. DDS CAD pops a message that DDS CAD should be restarted in order to uh, set up the user interface again. In DDS CAD, you can also change the background color. To do so, you come to Tools, Options, and you select the option Background Color. By default, the user interface is white, but you can also use a gray or black one. Another thing that you can do is change the units. To do so, you come to Tools, Options, and you select the option Quantity Format Settings. In the Quantity drop-down list, you select what you would like to change the unit. For instance, for length, I would like to change the unit from meter to, to millimeter. In the example field, we see the, the result. If you'd like to apply this change only for this project, you click on this button. But if you'd like to create a template and make this change for all this for this project and for the new projects you select this option and then you click close